Welcome Sagittarius and Capricorn to your love tarot reading. Understand that this reading may not resonate with every Sagittarius and Capricorn couple. Take what resonates and leave what does not. So I'm going to go ahead and get the energy surrounding this connection. going on Sag and Capricorn thank y'all so much for tuning into this reading you have a third eye and clarity wow that's deep Sag so Sagittarius you're beginning to understand the connection that you have with Capricorn here you could be tapping tapping into your spiritual side oh Capricorn has action courage Jupiter and beginnings so Capricorn is definitely thinking of of you Sagittarius they want to take action towards you they want to take action towards you they feel like they have the courage to take action towards you oh wow well sounds good sounds good sounds like a really nice connection here I feel like Sagittarius you could enlighten Capricorn about a lot of things and Capricorn can show you some things here with action hmm okay One more for Sage. What's going on, Sage? Okay. You got two. So you have receive, open. Oh. And you have water. The ace of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Sagittarius, you have a strong attraction to Capricorn. And Capricorn has a strong attraction to you. I feel like Sagittarius, you're starting to open up to Capricorn. Capricorn could come off kind of mysterious. Um, you may not tr fully trust this Capricorn, but I'm, I'm starting to see, uh, Sagittarius, you're starting to open up. You're starting to kind of lighten things between you and Capricorn here. Capricorn wants to take action towards you. Ooh, Capricorn wants to come towards you. Okay. Let's find out more about this energy. Oh, <laughs> reflection projections. Okay. I feel like Capricorn is awakening to something. They're starting to understand their energy. You have isolating thoughts. Oh, Capricorn could be in deep thought about something that took place between you and them, Sagittarius. Capricorn is in deep thought about you. When they're alone, they're thinking of you. They're thinking, they're reflecting on a certain situation. Okay, they may want to share with you how they feel about something, but we're going to we're going to clarify this energy. Let's get what the focus is between you two. What is the focus between Sagittarius and Capricorn? Thank you, Spirit, for these beautiful messages for Sagittarius and Capricorn. What is the focus between you two? What is the focus? A karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So this is a karmic relationship that you and Capricorn have, Sagittarius and Capricorn. Y'all have a karmic relationship. This relationship is meant to teach you lessons, okay? Major lessons that impact how you love and, and it, it impacts your growth, your healing. This is a... It can be a very toxic relationship, and it can also be a very healing relationship. It depends on how you proceed. It depends on how you receive the other person. It depends on how open you are, okay? It, it depends on if you're able to reflect, okay? If you're able to think about the projections, your reflection, you know, what you put out. If you're able to really look in the mirror in this connection and be open and, you know, be vulnerable that's what it takes in this connection you two have to be vulnerable in order to get the most out of this connection okay and that can be um i'm, I'm getting that can be a little scary for the both of you you know based on past situations and things of things of their nature but it's very possible so we're going to go ahead and get into the tarot okay why is the third eye here for sag the four of cups in reverse so, Sagittarius, you have the Four of Cups in reverse for the third eye. We're going to clarify this in just a second. But it looks like, Sagittarius, you are starting to open up. You are starting to understand something dealing with this connection with Capricorn. 
why is thoughts here with isolating for Capricorn? Oh, the Ace of Cups. Oh, wow. So a Capricorn could have some type of stress or they could, they could have a lot on their mind, but they do want the Ace of Cups. And Sagittarius, it looks like they want the Ace of Cups with you. They could feel sometimes that you could you could be emotionally shut off here with the four of cups dealing with their thoughts and emotions or dealing with you know what they want sagittarius you could be very sp spiritual sagittarius um and you could kind of like really focus on that is what i'm getting you could really be focused on your spirituality and you could be kind of shut off to the emotions of capricorn or vice versa. Take it how it resonates here. But this is what is coming through. I do see that Capricorn wants the Ace of Cups with you. They want you very happy. They want to make you very happy. But they also want this in return. Okay? Some reciprocation. There needs to be reciprocation. There needs to be openness. And um, there, you need to share in in that. You need to share in wanting the Ace of Cups. Why is receive and open here for Sag? Oh, you got the hangman in reverse. Yes, Sagittarius, I'm happy that <clears throat> you're starting to look at the situation differently because I feel like you could have been stuck in not receiving from Capricorn. I don't know if something happened in the past here that made you uh, kind of shut down or um, just refrain from opening up further or, or opening up at all to this Capricorn, but something happened or something was happening behind the scenes here with the hangman about you receiving and being open i feel like this has changed i feel like you're you're ready to receive something here especially with this ace of water it's like okay now i can feel because you're very passionate Sagittarius. you're fire you're not water okay you may have water in your chart but your sun sign is sagittarius so this can be for any sagittarius placements but wherever you have Sagittarius, you're not going to be overly emotional, okay? And this Capricorn, whoever you're connected to, they could have water in their chart. They could have water, uh, they could have heavy water placements in their chart, okay? But I see a, a strong attraction between you two because I see uh, Capricorn wanting to take action towards you and you wanting to um, share in joy and, and, and good emotions with Capricorn here with the Ace of Water. That is a very beautiful energy, and I'm I'm happy that you're changing this around. I feel like Capricorn is able to see this. Mm -hmm. I feel like Capricorn is able to see that you're more willing to receive and willing to be open with them. Why is reflection here with projections for Capricorn? So at some point or now, or <laughs> this relationship could be very toxic or was very toxic in a way to where you could have been mirroring one another we're here with this karmic relationship you could have been mirroring one another and um not really holding yourselves accountable and not really seeing like the bigger picture not really seeing the depths of things why is re reflection and projection here i feel like capricorn is starting to realize this oh wow with strength that's beautiful uh capricorn has a very strong attraction to you uh sagittarius very strong attraction to you they want this uh overflow of happiness this overflow of love to be the center of the relationship between you two wow that's pretty deep that's pretty deep you guys um i see uh sagittarius you see that capricorn is more open as well i see here i see you being more open to what capricorn has to say um, what they have to present and I see Capricorn being more open op open to what you bring into this connection Wow Let's clarify this ace of water for Sagittarius with Pisces cancer Scorpio energy here You both could have water in your charts Why is the ace of water here for Sag <laughs> the lovers in reverse Sagittarius I feel like um you need to forgive Capricorn for something here, something dealing with your emotions. I feel like you could have been shut out. You could have been like, you may not have realized this at first, but I'm getting that you could realize this now that you were like shutting yourself off from Capricorn. I feel like Capricorn could have hurt you. This, this relationship is a karmic relationship. Shit is going to go left and upside down. 
in every which way you don't want it to in this connection because it's meant to teach you something. And if you choose to stay in this connection, it gets better with time. It gets better with maturity. It gets better better with the more uh, the, the more self-aware that you both become. It gets better and you learn to heal things that you would not have learned in more harmonious connections. It's like with this karmic relationship, it's like you two are learning to be harmonious. You are having to learn how. It's like um, starting from scratch with no uh, instructions, with no directions, none of that shit. It's like you just got to gotta find. It's like you got to find out for yourself with the karmic relationship. You really have to go through it yourself in order to understand it, in order to grow from it. And many people don't stay in karmic relationships. Many people can't take um, the emotional damage, the, the the harm that it can cause. But those that do, I'm getting, I'm getting that you two have this strong co connection to each other, regardless of any difficulties that you've had here. You still have this strong connection that's strong enough because someone wants to take action. Big Jupiter energy here. Someone wants to take action. Put in that work, Sagittarius. And Sagittarius, you're showing up as if you want to show up as this nurturing. I see this water here. Like you want to nurture this this love. It's like I feel like you've changed your mind about something. I feel like you're starting to realize that, okay, I need to change I need to change this about myself. Okay. I need to change change this. I need to work on my emotions regarding this love situation with Capricorn. Why is action here with beginnings with Jupiter and Courage for Capricorn? I need a very specific message. Thank you, Spirit, for these beautiful messages for Sag and Capricorn. Why is action here with beginnings? Oh, okay. You have the Page of Wands in reverse. See, I feel like um, maybe Capricorn wasn't putting in a certain amount of action towards you here in the past. Yeah, I don't feel like they were putting in a certain amount of action towards you in the past or concerning you in the past, Sagittarius. And I feel like this is why you could have been shut off um, from this Capricorn. You could have been closed off at some point with the hangman in reverse because you wanted to see some type of change. You wanted to see some type of action. OK. And this was very triggering. This could have made Capricorn feel isolated. This could have um, caused some type of emotional damage between you between the both of you here but i feel like capricorn is willing to to learn and, and willing to to take action but i don't feel like this was the energy in the past i don't I, I feel like the ace of cups and strength was always here but i don't feel like the action was was always here and with you sagittarius i feel like you shut yourself out from capricorn at some point with the hangman in reverse the four of cups and the lovers in reverse as well like you were completely shut down but I feel like you're starting to open up and I feel like Capricorn is starting to realize because they're thinking about something. They're reflecting and they realize that, OK, it's things that I have to do in order to mend this connection, in order to have this strength in Ace of Cups with Sagittarius. This is beautiful. I see a lot of maturity on both ends in this connection, which is very, very beautiful. It's very loving. I, I see a very loving connection. Um, that can come of this if you choose. Why is the Four of Cups here? The Sag. The Ten of Cups in reverse. Ooh, we Sagittarius. I do feel like you really shut yourself out. Um, you and Capricorn could have a family or you could have been uh, wanting a family with Capricorn. Wanting something more serious, something more stable. Which brings you a lot of joy, uh, Sagittarius. I feel like you gave up hope. At a certain time dealing with this with Capricorn. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here for Capricorn? I see that Capricorn is optimistic about this. It's like they could be uh, in deep thought about some things that could bother them. But they, they're also in deep thought about... Um, the beauty in this connection as well. And I feel like they're staying positive or they stay positive. Even, even when you weren't so positive Sagittarius, they could have stayed positive or vice versa. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Or Capricorn. You got the Ten of Swords in reverse. 
Yeah, I feel like um, Capricorn is staying positive, even if they feel stabbed in the back, even if they feel like things aren't going right at a certain moment. I do see them staying positive, and I do feel like this is a part of you opening up. I do. I feel like this is a part of you opening up because it allows you to see something in a different perspective. Why is the hangman here for Sag? Why is the hangman here for Sagittarius? Ooh. You got the chariot. Okay. I do feel like um, there was a change here. I feel like there was a change in you, Sagittarius, but I also feel like there was a change in Capricorn. And whatever that change was allowed you to open up. Something allowed you to open up. You're beginning to open up to Capricorn and receive Capricorn. You want to move forward with Capricorn. You would like to. Um, that's your choice. But it looks like it's going to take you to see something from a different perspective in order to maintain that choice. Like if you go back to thinking how you were thinking in the past about a situation, that could stall you out and stall stall out this relationship and keep you two from um going towards each other the, the way that you would like here with the ace of water and the action card okay why is strength here why is strength here for capricorn he got the ace of swords oh we i see um capricorn is very serious it's like um, maybe they didn't open up in the past, but they're they're wanting to open up now here with the Ace of Swords about their love for you, about this connection here with this Leo energy. Capricorn really wants to like show you off to here with this strength and the Ace of Swords. <laughs> that's really that's really cute. Why is the lovers here in reverse for Sag? Why is the lovers here in reverse for Sag? Oh, you got the Seven of Cups. So. Sagittarius, I feel like with the lovers here, with the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Water, you felt like you were, you weren't a priority. There was at some point you felt like you weren't a priority. Like the connection that you and Capricorn had, you didn't feel like that was a priority in Capricorn's life. I feel like it's because Capricorn wanted this. They wanted this, and they talked about wanting this, but what they did didn't match what they said here with the page of ones in reverse with action but i do feel like there's a change here and i feel like sagittarius you could have started exploring your options or you could have started looking at other options okay and i just feel like capricorn has been very optimistic about this and they're wanting to come towards you and i feel like you're beginning to open up and see this you could be indecisive about something. You could you could have been indecisive about continuing this connection with Capricorn at some point. Why is the page of wands here in reverse for Capricorn? Why is the page of wands here in reverse for, for Capricorn? Justice. Okay. Capricorn feels as though they owe it to themselves and to you Sagittarius to give the best that they can give okay to not just feel this and want this and talk about this but to actually get the most out of the situation Capricorn feels as though they'll they are doing themselves an injustice and you an injustice if they don't put in action towards this connection wow they feel like if they don't put an action towards this connection they're cheating themselves and you 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 and you and this capricorn could have been connected for a while or you could have took some time apart from one another at some point but whatever happened between you two it's like it's like you don't want to you don't want that time to be wasted. You don't want that energy to be wasted. I feel like this could be a mutual feeling between the both of you that you don't want those feelings to, to go to waste here with justice. Why is justice here? Why is justice here? I want to get a little bit more clarity on that. Why is justice here? I just seen the world. Why is justice here? You got the higher funny reverse. So you you two could be married or you two could, you know, be in a serious commitment, committed relationship, or you two could just be serious, just serious in general about this connection. Why is the higher front here? Why is the higher fronts? Wait a minute. 
these cards. It's all with your ways. Okay. Why is the Hierophant here with justice? This could have to do with your commitment. Like, you two seem to be very committed to this connection. Why is, why is the Hierophant here? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, what is this? The King of Okay, 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 okay. We have a whole couple here. So I feel like I feel like you two are, are very committed to changing something around and getting some type of balance in this connection. This is a very um comforting connection. This is a very um close connection. You two could have a family, a home together or something here with the king and queen of pentacles. Or that's what you two would like to have. Something more stable. So um, there are some things that are that has changed in this connection on both ends that is leading to some type of balance here. Because you have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I do feel like um, the Capricorn, Capricorn feels as though they need to balance something out here with Justice and the King of Pentacles. And this could have to do with how committed they are. This person could be very committed. You two could be very committed to this connection. And you can do what you choose, you know, regarding this connection. But I do feel as though if if you two are able to see each other's differences as strengths instead of a hurdle, I do feel like this queen and king will be more in balance. Okay, let's get the overall energy for this reading. What is the best outcome for Sagittarius regarding this connection with Capricorn? What is the best outcome for Sagittarius regarding this connection? The Hierophant again. Oh my goodness, this is a serious connection. Um, Capricorns are pretty serious and Sagittarius, when you get to a certain level of spiritual enlightenment and self-awareness, you can become very serious as well. So I do feel like this could progress. What is the best outcome for Capricorn? The Seven of Cups. OK, I feel like the best outcome for Capricorn is to choose wisely, is to is to choose wisely and have the options to choose to, to choose something. Let's clarify this energy. Tell me more about the Hierophant for Sage. I just feel like Sagittarius, you're on a strong spiritual journey. You have the Emperor. Ooh. You're definitely in your power. I feel like you're very serious, uh, Sagittarius. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups for Capricorn. Why is the Seven of Cups here for Capricorn? You got the Chariot and the Ten of Cups. So I, I feel like... Um, with this Ten of Cups in reverse here, I do feel like Capricorn is going to try all of these things in order to move forward. They're going to try every last one of them. They're going to check check things off that don't work. They're going to check things off that do work. And I feel like, uh, Sagittarius, you're standing in your power here with the Emperor and the Hierophant. It's like you know what you want here. You know what you want. And Capricorn also knows what they want. But they're going they're going to do whatever they need to do to get to this Ten of Cups. Look at all of these people here. You two have a very like loving connection. And I do feel like there will be an injustice if nothing comes of this. Because I do feel like you two have done a lot of work on, on yourselves separately and on this connection. And with this Justice card here with the Hierophant and the Hierophant here and the Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups here, I feel like you you can you can't go anywhere but up in a connection like this. Because this is a karmic relationship. So whatever you've gone through and whatever you choose to learn from, you only get better and better and better. You only climb the ladder and get better and better. What's the overall energy of this connection? What is the overall energy? What is the best outcome for Sagittarius and Capricorn? What is the best outcome? You have the world. Oh my goodness. You have the world here. I want to clarify. I want to clarify the world. You have the world. So it's like this could be like a power couple type thing. Okay. 
this could be like a power cup and with all these cups i do feel like you two could have water in your chart cancer pisces scorpio with the ace of water coming out i do feel that very strongly why is the world here we got the lovers the six of swords moving forward wow look at that and you have death and rebirth this is a very powerful connection i did feel like scorpio energy very strongly for the both of you in this connection beautiful sagittarius and capricorn thank you so much for tuning into this reading this is the sagittarian goddess and i will see you all in the next reading